Hey, what's up guys? It's Cyrus here and welcome to another episode of The Hunger Games. So, here in this video I'm doing a recorded commentary, which I think it's called. And, yeah, well, there's this problem where I kind of can't always record, like with my voice. So I, I'm on a laptop, but there's always background noise. So only now and again I get the chance to be able to uh, record with sound with my voice. So, um... This time I was just recording, and also I found a new way to record in which it doesn't give me lag. Um, and when I was recording, I looked at the footage; it looked all fuzzy. But then when I put it into the editing software, it looks great. And what it, what is it's like half size, and basically it kind of halves the size. I think that's what it does, but it's less laggy, and that's uh, I can just thank for that. So here I am, and I'm playing as the kit four. Um, oh yeah, back to my, uh, yeah, so I'll be doing a lot of these videos with the commentary over it. And if you guys like this, you can tell me, but I will also fit in a, a few live commentary. Eh, <coughs> cherries. So, uh, if you enjoy this, just, you know, say in the comments or any ways to improve, anything like that. Uh, I don't know if the audio will be perfect on this, um, because I'm using the actual editing software to record the narration, to add to the video, to render, to put into YouTube for you to watch. That makes that makes total sense, doesn't it? Does it? Does that make sense? I don't know, but yeah. So here we go, here's the first kill. What I've done, I've grabbed soup, got a sword, um, so I found this guy on the ground and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm killing him. First kill, it was pretty good. So I was happy with that, but then I seen those iron, so I can speed this up a bit because you know, this is just me getting some stuff and burning the iron. So yeah, I found that he had quite a lot of iron, so he's must have been doing a bit of mining. But um, I don't know if he had a sword, but yeah, he it was a good fight. So um, I started burning the iron, got an iron sword. I'm getting iron. So this bit is just really just grabbing iron, because really I wouldn't. You, you don't. Uh, with, so, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? You, you need iron, basically, um, or really, you're you can't win. Cause in the end, you're always you're gonna end up with someone. Uh, you're not gonna be able to battle at the feast, which means you're then gonna end up like final two against someone who's got full diamond. You have no chance. So you're best just gearing up, spending the time to get some iron. So for any of you who do like choose. Uh, you know, just to kits and then just, oh yeah, here I got stuck in gravel trying to get flint. Uh, it's quite funny, but um, yeah, for any of you who just kind of get a stone sword and then you find you never win, it's because you need to find iron. Usually I try to find the ravines, I find it easier just to get in a ravine and there's, there's usually good iron there. Or even just get an iron sword and then go kill, find people underground. But Ender Mage is pretty good as well. If you're team with an Ender Mage, or if you are an Ender Mage, that can work great too. So here I think I've got my full iron armor, and yeah, I try. I'm about to go up to surface to then find the people I want to kill. So at this point, uh, I don't know how many people are left. Um, I think it's about 30-ish. Oh, didn't see it. 18. 18 people I think I've seen so at that point and then the feast comes well five minutes to the feast so yeah I'm like okay I'm going there um, so off I go just throw away some stuff and it's off to the feast I go and yeah so there's my extra suit I just paused the recording for no reason I don't know why uh, so off I go off into the wild of the unknown. Oh, so yeah, 16 people here left. Uh, still the list glitch. I was quite happy with this game. Most of my games, you know, are never good. I'm, I was more of a troll, but now I've kind of worked out that you know, I'm getting bored of trolling now, and I want to try and get some nice stats on my page. Also, I've kind of mess fixed my mouse so that it's better to play. With. So here I found this guy. This was fun. Uh, so he was standing right next to lava, getting some lava buckets, so I just push him in, but he had soup, so he got back out. Oh, it, this was really, 
a good fight. So I had two people on me. I, I don't think these. I think these guys were teamed. I wasn't sure. So he tried placing a lava bucket on me, and it was down to me and this guy. Uh, so yeah, then it's down to me and this guy. But then, yeah, it's just me and him. And my four really comes in handy here because I get him on fire, and uh, yeah, I had to use some extreme hot king skills here. I only had one soup left, and boom, he's dead. So here's the replay, slow motion. Uh, he 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 was looking the wrong way. I don't know what he was doing. He's just like looking over there. I was just like, "What are you doing? I'm over here. Do you want to kill me or not?" And I was down to one soup, so I was quite thankful for that. Uh, yeah, and then this guy comes up, uh, and that was a perfectly placed lava bucket. And I was just like, "Oh, nice." So yeah, he he I think yeah he dies from that because of the lava and fire. He just he had no chance because fire really is like great great way to kill people and boom he's dead so now I'm basically just getting my soup getting food and this is kinda boring because I'm just the, the feast is just about to come so I'm just kinda grabbing stuff and then off I go so I think the feast was only a few blocks away because I, th I think they were going to the feast and just as I was going we kind of walked into each other so here I found these guys now this was a great fight uh, I, I really enjoyed this so he monks me and then I ended up with my chest plate and I'm like oh no and then this happened and I was just like no way my sword drops on the floor so um, so my sword drops and I'm just like oh no way but uh, yeah luckily I got I, I had a spare sword from that last guy I killed so that was great um, so yeah got that now I think these guys were also teamed uh, got this guy on fire now if I were him in my point of view I would have ran away he he literally I think he just jumped around into where I was he obviously had like one heart and I killed him so here I've ran out of soup um, well I've only got what I've got in my bottom but he obviously had low health too and I killed him and then the feast is just about to start so getting ready for that um, I don't think I had to use any soup on that guy so it was good so here I've got um, diamond and I just wanted to get rid of all the rubbish in my inventory and then grab the nice stuff that's in here this guy comes up to me with a stone sword and I was just like what you doing you've got a stone sword there's no you've got no chance uh, and then he comes up and I was just like oh wow um, I got a bit worried here um, because yeah he knocked me into my fire and then I was just like oh no I'm dead but yeah I got a bit of a combo on him I'd say it was a combo uh, for him once and then he goes under so uh, yeah then he's under the ground I think I don't know what happened did he I don't know if he like fell and walked forward or if he just kind of glitched through the ground but however that happened he's then underground so I thought I may as well use this time just to get get the stuff I need so I can definitely kill him. Um, so I'm prepared. Got my lava bucket. Got my stew, and got a potion. So there we go. I poisoned him, and I was just like, "Oh, what a shot!" Because usually I end up poisoning myself. And this I just found hilarious. He tries to blow me up. I think it was that lone health, and I think I don't think it was the poison. I think he actually hit himself, and then yeah, easy kill there. I think he just didn't really know what he was doing and he didn't really know how to get out of it once uh, he was attacked. So here I'm just gonna grab what I need, all the basic stuff, you know, soup, um, lava, uh, stuff like that and food, and yeah, and ender pearls, because I didn't know if there would be, just in case I came across someone who I'd need to teleport to. Uh, so I grabbed all the potions. Not many people usually grab the potions because they think they're kind of useless, but me, uh, you always got to grab the potions. They come in handy. And uh, I got a strength potion, you know, and a damage potion. And you'll find that my damage potion actually comes in handy later. So yeah. Uh, so so far, this is a great game, and I was so tense. Uh, you might not have seen it, but I was quite shaky, and because I kind of fixed my mouse, it was because it's more slidey, so it's got more of a sensitivity on it. Um, and so I was really shaky so but my sword still seemed to hit them which probably just by chance um, 
yeah and do I, I don't know if you guys are getting that I just wait to ask because I've been playing a few games like oh yeah this guy comes up ask me later. Uh, yes this guy comes up and here I got really worried he gets me down to about yeah three two and a half hearts something like that and yeah I got him on fire and I ran away and then uh, I still yeah, sorry about that um, I just sort of messed up the narration there but um here we are, and yes, yeah, so I was so glad to kill that guy. Uh, a very tense fight, um, but yeah, I got him in the end. So I grabbed my enchantment table, got my sword enchanted. I got a sharpness one sword. Uh, just check the feast again, um, and then it was time to blow up. I think I do. Do I? Do I blow it up? I don't know. Oh yeah, here we go. So yeah, get that blown up, and then it's time to go get the other guy. So off I go. There's three people left. Patty, Missy, I think, and uh, some other guy. So I uh, went off to get him. So it wasn't really that far away from the feast. Uh, it's just here that I then find him close. So just got my potion ready, threw an instant damage off him, and yep, there we go. Easy easy fight good game so then I have two people left uh, me and some other guy you see I'm saying so got my comes set yes yeah, Mitch 53 mash yeah so uh, off to get him that he also wasn't that far away um, just had to run a bit so this I found quite interesting uh, I was expecting someone who had about full iron and you know was absolutely uh, you know preparing the whole game so you'll probably laugh at this when you see it it's oh i, I the my games have come across where people have done this and then i've ended up dying from it it's quite annoying so i think it's just about here around this hill yeah there we go i see this tower up in the sky but i didn't see his name uh but then i knew he was close so I came round and then I looked up and noticed his name tag. So up I go. Here I see his name tag just like popping off the edge. So I tried to pour him but he didn't fall. He stayed standing on his little miniature tower. I don't understand how he could spend a whole it had been about thirty minutes about here. And I don't understand how he could have survived up until now. So if you can hear any background noise, uh Probably that much. Um, so yeah, I attempted to throw an end pearl first time. It just landed on my face. This time, it's even worse. I got so close to getting it perfect position, but I ended up landing in the fire. So uh, he, I, I bet he was just sitting up there, just laughing his face off. And I wasn't sure if he was a fisherman, if he was a stomper. He could have been any kit. I was actually quite surprised in the end. Uh, so yeah, here I get my. I just thought, stop it, I'm tearing up. I'm not spending the whole game just camping under. So he says, come up and fight like a man. I'm like, oh, come on. He, he really thinks he's gonna win. I think he had some strategy that he'd. I don't know what his plan was if I did just go up. Um, I think if I did fall from this height, I'd probably die. I don't know. So yeah, I got my Ender Pearl out, my final one, threw it. Bang on position, he falls and boom. And then I found out he was a chemist. Um, yeah, <laughs> good game. A uh, chemist, you know. <laughs> I'm guessing he was gonna throw like an instant damage off me or something. I seen him holding it or it was a strength, I can't remember. But yeah, good game. Um, and that was a good win. So yeah, I hope for more videos to come. And uh, yeah, I'll do more of this. If you enjoyed the narration, just say in the comments. Um, it might not be perfect this time, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.